Hello and welcome back to the Hornby Magazine Workshop where today we're taking a close look at Hornby's brand new W1464 for double O gauge. Hornby's W1464 arrived at the very end of December in 2021. And there's more versions coming during 2022 with the rebuilt versions arriving during January. On the layout today, we've got the first version to arrive, which is the locomotive's original condition as built in 1929, when it was numbered 10,000 and carried a stunning lead gray livery. Now this locomotive was very different to any other steam locomotive at the time. It was built as an experimental engine by Gresley. It was constructed at Darlington Works in 1929 using a marine style high pressure steam boiler built by Yarrow from Scotland. Now this locomotive it had a boiler with a working pressure of 450 psi, so that's pretty much double what you'd get from a comparative A1 or A3462 from the time. It needed that big chassis with the 464 wheel arrangement in order to carry all the weight as well and provide space for the very wide firebox at the back. It was completely different to anything else on the railway and in this form as it is here, it actually only lasted for six years in traffic before it was withdrawn. Now during that six years in service it went through a number of revisions as well and as you may have noticed from Hornby's catalogue if you've been a regular reader of such things, Hornby's found quite a few ways to make the most of this unique locomotive. So the version we've got here is in as delivered condition with a single chimney. Hornby's also done a version as part of its original collection of these locomotives which models the engine with its unused but planned British Enterprise nameplates. It's also done a third version this first batch which models the locomotive as it might have been had it gone forward to be repainted into LNER lined apple green as in the LNER publicity material for the locomotive. And finally, a new addition in Hornby's 2022 catalogue sees 10,000 delivered with a double chimney and the smoke lifting cowl that was added to the locomotive later in its early career. Now, after 1935 when it was withdrawn, it was then rebuilt in 1937 into a conventional steam locomotive. It gained an A4 style Bugatti streamlined casing over the boiler and it had a conventional boiler inside which I believe was along the lines of what was inside a P2. In that condition, it continued in service with British Railways as well, with it finally being withdrawn in 1959. Sadly, this locomotive hasn't been preserved though. So Hornby's model arrived to great excitement at the end of 2021. I've been itching to get my hands on a W1. They're one of my favourite locomotives that very early and well exciting period of Gresley's career. The locomotive models the full 464 wheel arrangement with locomotive drive inside the boiler where there's a big five pole motor driving the centre driving axle through a flywheel. There's then a 28 millimetre speaker space in the tender, together with space for an eight pin decoder socket in there as well. Plus you've got sprung buffers at all four corners. You've also got factory fitted lamps on this locomotive as well, or they are non-working. Plus you've got a fully detailed cab interior as well. It's been running beautifully here on the layout. We've got it here on the rake of eight Pullman cars, which has been running around really nicely with on the circuit here. And uh, well, I've been really impressed with what it can do. Slow speed control is great, high speed running is great as well, and there's plenty of space inside that tender if you want to add a speaker or sound decoder or even just a standard decoder as well. You can read our full review of Hornby's W1464 in issue 176 of Hornby magazine, that's on sale during January 2022. Plus you can also read it at keymodelworld.com as well. Right now though, I want to show you what this locomotive can do and demonstrate it running here on top of the Dell.
Thank you for joining me here in the workshop today to watch our video with the Hornby W1464. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I have putting it together. This has been one of those locomotives that I've been personally really looking forward to seeing arrive here in the workshop. Don't forget you can read our full review in the current issue of Hornby magazine, that's issue 176, our February 2022 issue, where there's a full four-page review of the original condition W1, together with a full reality check class history written by Evan Green Hughes, which talks through that full story of how this locomotive was developed, introduced into service in its original form, withdrawn, rebuilt and brought back into service again. You can also read all those features online at keymodelworld.com. Thank you very much for watching. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. Hi, I'm Alex Yates, and this is TMC, the model centre at Beck Hall near Whitby. We're down at the new mail room at TMC, where we can ship your orders worldwide. Here at TMC, we do many limited editions. We've got our 24 and a half ton mineral wagons that have just come into stock and we've got our G5 that is due in summer next year and we've got many other limited editions available on our website. Here at TMC we stock all major brands including Hornby and Backman and we also have a large range of pre-owned models all available in store and on our website. We offer customization services when you buy a model from us such as Real Coal, Cab Crew, DCC Sound, DCC and any little customization features that you want on your models. We also offer a weathering service. When you buy a model off our website we have tick box options so you can spec up the model as much or as little as you want. You can pre-order all future releases on our website with free postage over £50 and no deposit required. Whether you're a customer, old or new, visit us in person or visit our website, themodelcentre.com. We hope to see you soon.